morning guys welcome back to a new video today i'm going to film uh, what i eat in a day and at home in my kitchen i kind of have like a slow morning and this afternoon i have some meetings um i gonna do a workout i have um need to do some groceries which means i am going to home cook everything today and i kind of like put a new rule on myself that during the week i cook uh, also in the evening and then in the weekends are kind of more for like going out and like having dinner with friends and everything yeah so i'm kind of on like a very healthy track um i try to go to the gym every day and i don't know i just like feel so much better and so much like stronger so i start the morning uh with um a glass of water with lemon juice and uh apple cider vinegar obviously the water hydrates me in the morning and uh yeah the apple cider vinegar and the lemon juice really like cleanse uh cleanse my body cleanse my stomach so let's make some breakfast to start the day i'm going to have a fresh detox drink I'm using half a lemon, which I squeeze into a glass. Then I add some cold water and a teaspoon of apple cider vinegar. I drink this on an empty stomach first thing in the morning to cleanse out my body. For breakfast, I'm going to make my favorite green smoothie bowl. It is so easy to make, full of fiber, vitamins and protein, and overall very delicious. The first ingredient I'm going to use is a fresh banana. Then I'm adding some frozen spinach, a bit of kale and frozen wild berries. To give the smoothie a bit more filling, I add extra oats. Lately, I've been obsessed with this vanilla protein and inner beauty powder from the Beauty Chef. It contains plant proteins, superfoods and alkalizing greens to help support your health, beauty and overall well-being. Then I'm adding some groundnut flaxseed to support the digestive system, some hemp seed, and last but not least, my favorite non-dairy oat milk. I blend everything up in my Nutribullet until everything is mixed up. For the topping of my smoothie bowl, I'm adding half a teaspoon of hemp seed to the smoothie and some frozen blueberries. Of course, I can't go through the morning without a good cup of coffee. My favorite is to make an Americano coffee with my coffee machine and froth some extra oat milk for a foamy top layer. I need a cup of coffee to wake up in the morning. So, here we got my breakfast. Um, so, I have a glass of water here to take my vitamins. And these are Nutrafol, which is like a hair supplement, and vitamin D, which I really, really need while I'm in the winter in New York City. It is really important while you're eating to take the supplements because the fat in the food um, makes that your body kind of absorbs the real vitamin. So just a little bit. If you think a smoothie bowl is not like enough for you in the morning, um, because you might work out or you have a busy job or anything I would recommend just add a little bit more oats so this will keep you uh, longer full and for me this green smoothie um, is like the perfect breakfast because I got my vitamins with like the fruits I have uh, fibers in there with the veggies um, I have a protein in there and It is also super, super delicious. Um, I just got like a couple of extra things for dinner tonight. A lot of ingredients for the lunch for today I prepped yesterday because I didn't know if I was gonna be really busy. And yeah, so it's gonna be uh, easy to make. For lunch, I'm going to make a grilled vegetable kale salad. Normally I make the veggies the night or day before, so I have everything meal prepped. I will show you guys quickly how I make the veggies first. Preheat the oven on 400 degrees. I start with cutting up the sweet potatoes, a cauliflower, broccoli and yellow zucchini. I put a baking sheet on a tray so I won't make a big mess. I put all the veggies on here and sprinkle some extra virgin olive oil on here. Then it's time to add some flavor and seasoning them. I use salt and pepper for everything. Then I'm adding some garlic powder to the sweet potatoes. 
I use paprika powder and cumin on the zucchini and the broccoli. Last but not least, I'm adding turmeric to the cauliflower, which has great anti-inflammatory benefits. This goes in the oven for about 25 minutes on 400 degrees. For my salad, I'm grabbing a can with chickpeas. Everything I take out of a can, I rinse off under water to get rid of the extra salt. Then I'm grabbing a big bowl and I add pieces of kale in here. It is very important to massage the kale so it's easier for your stomach to digest. I add some olive oil and squeeze half a lemon. I add some salt and pepper to bring out the flavor. I massage the kale gently until it's soft and tender. Then I'm adding one big cup of chickpeas to give the salad a good filling. Did you know chickpeas are really high in protein and make an excellent replacement for meat in vegetarian and vegan diets? Then I'm adding all my grilled vegetables. I like them chilled the best actually. Adding the turmeric cauliflower, sweet potatoes, broccoli and zucchini and I add half an avocado. Avocados are such a great source of healthy fats. Eating healthy fats supports skin health and help boost the immune system. You don't have to be scared for these kind of fats. I always say an avocado a day keeps a doctor away. I mix this all together with a spoon and fork and put it into a bowl. As a topping, I'm adding some nutritional yeast, which add a little cheese flavor to it. And my big salad is ready to be served. If you meal prep, this meal is done within 10 minutes. Yeah, so this is my lunch for today and um, I drink this sometimes in the morning or during lunchtime. Um, this is uh, an hydration inner beauty boost from the Beauty Chef and it's like a probiotic elixir and it has like a very like kind of sweet flavor. So here it's coconut water, aloe vera and lemon myrtle. So I'm just going to add a tiny tiny bit with some water and I have a nice drink for lunch. So it is four o'clock right now and I'm getting like a little bit hungry so I'm gonna grab a little snack. And I personally notice if I take like something very sweet or like a very sweet snack, I'm kind of craving immediately like sugar or anything else again. So I prefer to eat savory snack also because I like savory in general a little bit better so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna make or not gonna make um, I'm just gonna grab some like hummus and guacamole with carrots and some little crackers For my afternoon snack, I'm prepping a little Mediterranean plate with baby carrots, super seed crackers, and a big scoop of beet hummus, and a big scoop of guacamole, which I had in the fridge. I like to eat colorful food because that contains the most powerful nutrition. So here's my little snack of today. And I actually used um, a beet hummus. So that's why it has like a pinkish, uh, a pinkish color. Mm. And the crackers I actually been eating lately are these super seed crackers, and they're gluten free, uh, and they're made out of like whole uh, brown rice, and they have all these like other other seeds in there. So it's um, yeah, it's super easy to eat with like guacamole or to eat with like beet hummus or like normal hummus and perfect 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 snack so yeah i'm gonna go for like a little pilates class after and then um and then i'm gonna show you guys what i have for dinner During the day, I didn't really eat any animal protein. So on tonight's menu is a pesto prosciutto wrapped chicken with asparagus and grilled broccoli. I eat meat and chicken in moderation and switch this up with vegetarian dishes. I start with chopping up the broccoli and the big tomatoes. I bought these actually from a local farm around New York, so they are healthy and fresh without being imported. Then I'm going to prep the chicken. 
It is such an easy dish to make but very tasty. Obviously, I wash my hands and grab the big knife. I cut the chicken breast through the middle so it folds open like a little bug. I got basil pesto from Whole Foods and spread this in the middle. Then I'm adding the tomatoes and sprinkle a little bit of parmesan on here. I close the chicken and add some salt on top with extra parmesan cheese. I take a big piece of prosciutto ham and wrap this around the chicken breast. I add again a tiny bit of parmesan. Tonight I just really crave some cheese. Let's continue with the veggies. I take a big oven tray with a baking sheet and add the cut broccoli and asparagus on here. I sprinkle some olive oil on here and add some salt and pepper and extra cumin on the broccoli. Then this plate is ready to go in the oven for about 25 minutes. I take it out of the oven and it's ready to be served. It is such an easy meal to make and so delicious. And my dinner is ready. So I got some nice protein here, the chicken, um, with some nice veggies. And it's actually funny because a lot of people ask me like, oh, are you like vegetarian or like what kind of diet do you have? And I mentioned this earlier already that I see this more as like a healthy lifestyle I have. And if you would compare it with one of the diets, I would say it looks a lot like pale paleo, 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 well, that diet. <laughs> Anyway, um, so yeah, I try, uh, most of my uh, meals are very like plant-based and um, I eat like chicken from time to time and I'm not a very heavy meat eater, but like from time to time if I use, for example, here's some prosciutto or uh, I have like a good beef somewhere. And I feel it's all about moderation. Um, I also try to avoid like dairy, but then here I use a little bit of cheese. I just try to not overdo it. Anyway, I'm gonna enjoy this very delicious dinner. And by the way guys, I also um, write down all the ingredients of my recipes uh, in the description below if you wanna try it out and if you wanna do some new grocery shopping. So this is uh, going to be the end of my uh, what I eat in the name. I have here a big cup of tea and this is the detox tea from Yogi I guess yeah and with that I have a piece of dark chocolate and this was so funny in my last vlog I did exactly the same thing because I get this almost every evening and I did my chocolate in a tea and for some reason I got so many questions and comments about why I did that and I thought everyone does that. I don't know, like the heat just melts the chocolate a little bit so when you take a bite, mm, so soft and smooth, it's so good. Anyway, um, I hope you guys really enjoy watching this what I eat in a day. Um, I'm thinking maybe on uh, filming what I eat in day like while I'm at work or while I'm like traveling like when I'm not home cooking I don't know if you guys would like to see that or do you prefer uh, all my home cooked meals Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it Also uh, don't forget to follow me on Instagram where I'm going to start um, posting more recipes and where you can see more like backstage um, backstage pictures and everything and don't forget to subscribe put the notifications on so you won't miss anything and i will see you guys in my next video good night